talk freely, you no know, mics, no nothing. We different, but yeah, we live actually, but we different, but yeah, it is. Live ready? Yeah, man. Yeah. So we live different in terms of technology, but yeah. Mm, nice. Please don't show it. It's, it's very relaxed, calm. And, all right. So we just want to say good evening to everyone. Um, thanks for those that are tuning in to the Debrief TV show. We just want to thank you. Um, we also want to encourage you that are coming on to share the link with those that may be waiting for us to um, to start. We always know that there are people keyed um, in this show, uh, for our show. And we all, hey, Shirley, uh, um, Julia, you're saying, you're, you're tagging your friend, Shirley. Thank you very much. Um, why am I in here so bright? I'm just seeing, am I extremely bright? Um, for those watching at home, just let me know. Yeah. Because it feels like it's extremely bright. I'm picking up a, a thing at the back. So just let me know if it's extremely bright, folks, how the lighting is, so that we can just change the lighting if we are too bright. It's hitting um, the things. You got the lights pointed down? Yeah. Yeah, that's it's too bright. Reason why, uh, it's hitting the, the back. Oh, sorry. That dropped. And. all right so sorry about that yes hitting the pictures behind uh, just let me know if it is still doing that so that i can move it around um you know i don't normally have them centered right Yeah. All right. So forgive us a little bit again. Um, I hope that is way better for everyone. Um, it is still all right. Um, tell me if that's better. If that's better, we are good to go. Um, we have a very interesting topic to discuss today. All right. We got a very interesting topic to de de debate today to discuss. Is all right. Better than before. Okay, great. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. You know, setting sets is hard. Um, just give us a minute. I also want that you would share the link to your friends. Um, Khalid, go on the debrief. Do you need you need internet? No. Oh. But then the brief, uh, the brief TV show, and you could be able to follow us as we go. Um, but just bear with us as we just take two minutes to share with those that are waiting to come on the show. And for you, we're asking you please to share the links with your followers so that we can have um, the engagement. Tag some people. Let's have a very fruitful discussion. We are waiting on. Um, we are waiting on the number. Sorry, we're going to have a good discussion because it's a very interesting topic. And you know, we always try to bring you the best topics to discuss. So just give me one second to share here with some groups that are a part of the show. And then we can begin from there. Guys, just post it in the chat. All right and we will begin um we just want to thank you guys if you haven't liked the page as well please like and follow the page the debrief um one of the things that's coming up shortly is the renaming or the rebranding of the show um we've we've i've already gotten back the necessary things to really look at a rebranding name um yeah just to that we've been focusing a lot of things on like people with views and stuff like that um so uh I would share that later, but it's not, it's the logo remains the same, everything remains the same, it's just a name um, change. But we will discuss that. that. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Why are you like, friend? I don't endorse it. He liked the name. I That's love fine. the name. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, and again, we are celebrating and um, um, respecting all those ladies. Well, not ladies, but Cancer Awareness Month. I should say we, we're endorsing Cancer Awareness Month. We've changed our logo to pink. 
I think Friday they're asking you to wear your shirt, so I'm probably gonna wear my pink shirt on Friday and support the I don't like I never was a fan of pink, but just because of this cause I will put aside my feet um color feelings and support um uh, the whole cancer um because I know it's serious and it's something that needs the support and spreading of everyone. But um so I'm there now, so without holding you up any longer, we want to thank you for Thank you all for tuning in to the Debrief TV show. We're going to have a good conversation tonight. I am uh, your host, Kimar Safri. Next to me on my right is the man, uh, sorry, is Jeremy Beckford. Good evening. On my far left is the man is small. And we have a very interesting guest with us today, a young man. Um, you know, we've all seen him. We've all heard him. Highly intelligent young man. Uh, we believe that he will go big place. Um, he will go places, and we want to encourage. You know, I'm young, so I always like to see young people, and I always like to encourage young people, especially ones that show um, the amount of talent, like the young man here, to go forward and big. I know what it is to start small. I know what it is to surpass all my hurdles, and still be where I am today. And all of us at this table could share that same sentiment. So when we see young men such as gentlemen here, we always want to encourage him, regardless of whatever, continue to push past and become the successful person that you want to become. And we are excited to introduce Mr. Khalil Kofdiwala here. Uh, he's a young advocate, student advocate. And we've seen him, we've heard him, um, especially now in the whole CXC uh, issue that is going on that seem to have affected a lot of um, Caribbean students in terms of the CSC and the CAPE results. And it has not gone down well uh, with Caribbean leaders. It has not gone down well with our own leader here, leaders here, this would be the Minister of Education, Santia Bradshaw, and obviously to the Prime Minister of Barbados, Mayor Motley. It has not gone down well with them as it relates to how the results came out as um, in this particular examination. And so far, there have been a number of protests and there have been a number of um, petitions online as well um, where there are would have asked for a petition to bring forward to the um, CXC. And I, for one, tracking the news, um, have been seeing the way that these young people have been treated in terms of the response from the CXC, uh, which I think is a, 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 not one that is favorable, uh, one that, is, that, that sets, for, especially for a, a council that, that is supporting examination and further, furthering people. Um, the, the response was not very favorable, especially the blatant responses to dealing with a matter that affects so much, so many people. So we've decided to bring this as a topic tonight. We have the young colleague of the Waller here. Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself. We want your questions. Um, we want to hear what you have to say as well, so that we can post and we can read out the quest the your questions here. But we want uh, Khalil to start by you know introducing yourself, Khalil, but also to give us a basic idea of what it is that the group or uh, groups rather are championing and why as well. Well thank you very much Akimar. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, this is clearly as you would have mentioned an issue that has um, engaged the attention of many parents, many students, many teachers and indeed politicians across the region. Uh, so these kinds of conversations and discussions are important to be, ha um, to be having at this part point in time. So uh, as you would have asked, I'll just give you a bit of context into this issue. So on September 22nd, uh, CXC would have released their results uh, later than usual because of the delayed examination period due to COVID. Again, COVID is not anything, is, is not uh, certainly the fault of no one in this um, neck of the woods. So they, they delayed exams, the results were delayed. September 22nd, you have students across the region who sat CSEC and CAPE exams receiving those results. Immediately across the region, there was a sense that something was wrong. Uh, you have students and schools 
uh, I used to getting a particular standard of marks or whatever that standard is and this year there's a complete and total change in that standard uh, so where you might have a school for example which generally gets grade ones mm -hmm. a majority of grade ones the scales might have tipped such that they're not getting a majority of grade twos so some uh, i think uh, they generally for a lot of people who are not necessarily directly involved in the system there's a misunderstanding about what has happened mm -hmm. so the results uh, certainly the contention of the various groups um is that the results are flawed using four metrics firstly student expectations mm -hmm. so students uh, many students at least not necessarily all but many have a rigorous <laughs> system of self-assessing so that you go in into an exam fairly confident well if you're confident um, confident at least as to how you think you'll perform um, coming out of that exam also confident about how you think you did actually in that examination uh, these are all issues that I touched on when I wrote to um, to this to CXE uh, but so you have these this student expectations now this is the, the weakest of the four tests really because you can say quite um, uh, rationally that perhaps students might get it wrong and they might misjudge themselves which is a fair comment I think but the next one is not as susceptible to criticism and that is teacher predictions so there has been a lot that has been made of teachers um, the teaching profession and how they have allocated marks this this um, this go around and I think it is important and it would behoove me to say that teachers have a methodology for um, for a site for predicting grades, so essentially that is that they before you even go to sit the exam, the teachers will again. teachers will um, predict a certain grade based on their understanding of the student, uh, based on their understanding of, of of how they are expected to perform. Teachers do this for a living, uh, so they have this they, this system of teacher predictions, and then they will also know this because they mark the SBA component. Mm -hmm. So. This year, what you will find is that teacher predictions were not accurate in predicting how students performed, which is absolutely abnormal. If you look at previous years, the stats will show you, and the schools have submitted these statistics, that nearly every single year, teacher predictions line up almost exactly to the number with the actual grades that are given out. Not this year. And this is all through the region? All, um, I, I can certainly speak with confidence from a, from a, from a Barbadian perspective, okay. but this is a general consensus okay. that at least uh, from teachers across the region, that these, teachers, that these teacher predictions and teacher expectations generally match up well. Now the third basis is um, the historical performance of schools. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned in the beginning, schools generally perform in a uniform way. For example, in, in Barbados, we have the 11 plus, and uh, we can have a separate discussion about that. But the point is that serves to stream students so that you have each school performs in a fairly consistent manner from year to year at CSEC and yeah. CAPE level if they're a sixth form school. So a school will achieve a majority of their students getting grade one or two, or they might have a majority getting grade three or four. These are simple uh, facts mm -hmm. that happen every single year. The Harrison's Colleges, the Queen's Colleges. Well, I, I, I wouldn't um, go extend to... To, to make specific references, but you have schools that will perform exceptionally well. Because no, um, not not even just those who perform exceptionally well, as you put it, but just generally, schools will perform at the same standard every yeah. single year. This year, you have a complete um, the almost destruction of that. So where you have schools performing either higher or lower yeah. than their regular performance. And this is not just last year or year before, you know, this is decades or at least a decade or so of performance. So that's another thing to tell you that this year's uh, exams are wrong. And the last one is just, well, th th this can happen really in any system. We rely a lot on technology nowadays. Yeah. Um, and they have had some technological failures in terms of the generation of grades. Persons have gotten grades on online portals and gotten different grades on paper. They have seen before their very eyes the grades change on the online portal. So they, they're clearly having some kind of technological problem also. So those are the four real um, reasons or, or insights into that there is a problem. CXC, as you would know, appointed an independent review team. That team... So sorry, just for clarity, mm -hmm. the, 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 it is a... a system that it, it that is marking rather than it, that than physical people uh, sorry is, that is there a system that is it uh, uh, 
a software market giving you marks or oh yes so what you okay so, the, um thank you for that one so the cxc has three papers mm -hmm. for most of them this uh, so there is the sba which you do at school as a research yeah. project you have the uh, the paper two or that is a long paper so that's essays written, or written paper. yeah uh, yes the written paper this year they asked that because of covid and uh, the administration of those papers so there was no paper two this year and then you have the paper one which is the multiple choice 45 at cape 60 at uh at seaside level okay so you for the multiple choice is done on these uh grids you, you could raise the 45 to be 45 questions, questions yes, yes. Okay. So 40, 45 or 60 questions okay. um they give you a grid um, with little uh, circles for yeah. each option you shared and that it can be fed into the uh, okay. into a computer and that will mark that based on the uh, I, I don't know the, the technical name for it some kind of reader or something so question mm -hmm. um, the well I'm assuming that the options remain from A to D or A to A yeah A B C D uh -huh. okay A, A B C D for all of them um, for the paper two in recent years that has changed now to per yes persons physically mark those because they're essays they're long answer questions yeah. they're whatever they are uh, so persons physically mark those but in recent years they have transitioned to doing that online so whereas a lot of people watching would might know a teacher or, or some or someone like that who has had to go away in the summer to for example barbarians go to jamaica used to go to jamaica or jamaicans come here chinese come here etc mm -hmm. um but in i can't remember the exact year but very recently they have transitioned that online so they scan the papers in and teachers can correct in the comfort of their homes that's good um well there are ups and downs to that that method too um but and then you have the sba yeah so that is marked um so that is supervised by the teacher and it is marked also by that teacher now for this one what cxc does as a quality assurance check is that they moderate some of the sbas yeah so for example in the sciences you have those sbas not it's not a research project as such there there are laboratory experiments that you do so you will have a lab book and you will write up your experiments and what's not so cxc will call for five books uh from the whole um yeah. year group or whatever two from the top one from the middle two from the bottom yeah. and then those five will be marked by a cxc moderator mm -hmm. And if the mark that the CXC moderator gives lines up with the mark that the teacher gave, yeah. within I, I think it's about a five five percentage point or whatever. Five, five up or down. Yeah, five up or down that a uh, general range. Mm -hmm. Then it will stand, and then uh, all of those marks will go. Not just those five, but all of the rest of them. However, if there is let us say a discrepancy where the CXC moderator comes up with a mark that is 10 or 15 percent higher or lower than the teacher mark yeah then they will call for another five yeah repeat the process uh, if those five have a similar problem then they will moderate the whole thing when you moderate the whole thing I'll uh, remark the whole thing okay we remark all the all, all of the, the SBS, okay. yes, all, all of the lamp box so this year they decided that there was going to be no paper two Mm -hmm. So what they would do instead is that they would moderate all SBAs. SBAs. That has been fairly controversial in the sense that CXC to this day maintains that all SBAs are moderated. I, I have a query. A query. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. You said all the SBAs are moderated. You give specific reference to the sciences. Mm -hmm. How do you moderate an SBA for a subject of history? So history, for example, um, uh, Caribbean history, you might do a research project on, say, the um causes of the 1930s disturbances that is a research project um and so you, you you would present it uh that for those humanities subjects it is an introduction to to, to a re, to a research project yeah. that you will continue at university so then that would be taken in by cxc and it's the same process five two from the top one from the middle two from the bottom okay and but, they, i remark ob obviously um they can't be independently moderated because yes yes yeah yeah they are um so then you have um so then the child will do this sba will do this research project on the cause of the 1930s riots yeah. um and it will be a research project uh, with the introduction it will go into the context of it and the causes or whatever yeah and then that document will be sent to cxc for their moderators to correct so five of them two of two projects in the top two from one, one from the, the middle. middle two from the bottom so sometimes they're done in groups 
uh, um, because that, that makes it easier for marking purposes. Yeah. Or sometimes you do it individually in those kinds of subjects. So let's see, see what, it's the same process um, in terms of pulling five of the SBAs. Oh, sorry, I was, mm -hmm. I was confusing something. Yes, no problem. Um, and I just, I, I forgot where I had ended off, but the, so then the, you have those SBAs being moderated and CXC maintains that all SBAs were moderated. Um, I think that there are a lot of people who have credible evidence to suggest that not all SBAs were moderated across so, all so subjects. So when you say credible evidence, what are some of the factors that students would have used to determine that the marks were not in line with the expectations? What, what, what are those fields? All right, so then, as, as I had mentioned earlier, not only what the student is, a student who might have performed um, at a particular, uh, at a consistent standard throughout, um, CAPE has two units, yeah. the child might be, a, might be, have done unit two, and at unit one, you would have gotten a one, mm -hmm. or two or whatever you got. Um, unit two, performance tends, um, sometimes, it's not a general rule, but sometimes performance tends to in, in, enhance. Um, improve rather when you go into unit two because you have a grasp of sixth form. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you come to unit two now and you got a one in unit one, you're a good student, whatever. You go to unit two and you get a five. Oh, that's a big difference. Mm. Uh, what, 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 um, your what, teacher, what? yeah, your teacher says that based on your performance, based on your ability, based on your capacity, based on your SBA mark, which goes in as a percentage of the grade, you are going or you should get a one. You go into the exam, and you, you do the SBA, a teacher marks it, you get, I don't know, uh, if it's out of 20, you get 19, 18, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so you go in with that mark, you sit one paper, the paper, the multiple choice, you come out of that, you feel confident, whatever, sure. and then you get your five. So I, I have a query for you. Mm -hmm. um, when you were first um, speaking, you give four points that you use as your points of reference. Mm -hmm. um, I think the third one, you said, um, certain schools or should I say schools mm -hmm. are known to perform at a certain level mm -hmm. right and you said that this year that has completely changed yeah now what I want to ask you is this um in Barbados you have the quote-unquote top schools you got the Harrison's College Queen's College Common Mirror well Harrison's College Queen's College St. Michael's in Common Mirror Lodge <laughs> I mean, St. Michael's School. That's the part of this. Right? Well, you're skewing the whole there, thing. There are some people who, who, who would suggest that there is a ranking of schools. I know that there are right. some people who would say so. There, there actually was a ranking there, at the time. There, there, I think Lou Lynch and St. Michael's balling it out. Uh, Lou Lynch has, has, has since long ago. disappeared, and St. Michael's has been on the race for. To the long. point, Jeremy. Right? But let's not go there. To the point. Um, it's all about the area now. All right, so you have, you have, you have um, schools like Springer, which have six more now. Mm hmm. Right, you got foundation. Um, a number of schools. Right. LSD, LSD. LSD. has a sixth form, large. Right. A, a number right. of schools. A number of schools. But previously, there were only four schools in Barbados that had six farms. Mm -hmm. But I want to know, um, based on how those schools were performing over the city last five years, because I think they had six farms over five years now, right? Yeah, they're about. Yeah. Right. Based on how they were performing over the last five years, the newest schools, which have no, which now have six farms, mm -hmm. versus the original four. Mm -hmm. um, can it be said that the marks are on par with previous years where if um say at harrison's college all the students or majority of the students got grade ones and then when you came to um ellersley or springer or one of the other newer six farm schools where a lot of students got grade trees mm -hmm. is it on par this year where because i know that there's a there's a complaint about the low grades which a lot of schools receive where if at harrison's college a lot of students receive grade trees right at the other schools did they receive grade fives or is it a system where everybody receive equal um grades so i think that i i don't have the i don't have the stats um to, to be able to answer that definitively for you but i can tell you so i as as you kimar would have mentioned so um my, a lot of people have been contacting me with information and such like so i have heard a lot of things and one thing that i can take away from it is that you have carson college queen's college their performance is flipped and to some extent also um schools which might have been previously getting fives have done have, have had a slightly improved performance there there has been that um uh there's there's credible evidence to, to suggest that that has happened 
So then there definitely is a, a evil in the system. A little bit of evil because um, when it comes to exams, some there are some students that will do very well in the classroom work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a normal test, when it comes to the word exam, the that same student that would have done well in the test, I remember the teacher would have been preparing them for the this exam. They will come into the exam, be jittery, <laughs> and kind of forget what they know. It ain't that they know it, but they forget because of the whole the psychology behind the exam. And I have known students like that, that will walk into the exam and fail in the exam, but then outside the exam, they know the work. Um, it's a that possibility happens. that that could occur. Now, but not in mass. That, um, that's the thing. Ma mass is ticklish, but... I, I, no, no, I, no, no, but it's a mass, I, I mean, as not throughout the entire region. Right, yeah, well, that's a given. Um, so the issue here is that some persons, they're saying that some persons that would have probably get in better grades got lower grades. Yeah. But then he also said that, that some persons that would have got lower grades got better grades. grades. Who's to, who or right. who is could, us to say that the person well, could, could you say that to, no, get no, no, up. To, to get to get a higher grade. Now, the issue here is basically, you're saying the basic was multiple choice questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's multiple choice questions, Which are the, answers, the answer that we're given remain and all it takes if it is that is a software computer issue technical te technology issue mm -hmm. you know a human being could just scan through and see it will take time but a human being could check yeah check one now, or two on the flip side i think y'all actually had an advantage how because multiple choice is seen as much easier than a written exam. Not necessarily. And you know they say F I don't know if this is thought no, but they say back in the days that when you don't know you just put C. <laughs> so you do any mini more. Um no, you I, I always say if you don't know you put C. So it is that y'all have have an advantage whereas you do multiple choice only, not a written a written test. Uh, a lot can come out from a written test. And therefore we will probably assume that the march should be better because you didn't have a written test. Um, I think, what, sorry, what is CXC doing about to address the issue? So I, I will get to that, but a couple of things first. So definitely the first thing that you raised in terms of uh, students, the normal jitters that students have with exams and anxiety, and that has caused a lot of children over the years to underperform or not perform as how they thought they were going to. And then to, to, add, to add to that, mm -hmm. we are in a different year from yesteryear. How? COVID. COVID. You have to remember that students... The syllabus remains the same. No, 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 don't worry, the syllabus... The syllabus the remains the same. The whole psyche of mankind has changed because of COVID. The money was... You, you were, hold on, you were in school, next minute you were out of school, no school, doing school, online. You Somebody is just, it's in multiple choice, it's harder. But not accustomed one doing, but not one accustomed one doing school online. The money... And all the other the things money, that, that the took place while, while, COVID. Whilst I understand where you're coming from, um, I, I don't think to, you do, but... No, okay. no, I do. I understand perfectly and clearly what you are trying to say. However, mm. let's be real. You cannot move, as Khalil is saying, from a situation where you have... How, how many students sit in the, the C-Sex on a yearly basis? Don't ask questions that you may not know. No, um, he... Um, I, I, hold I, on, I, hold on. Th th those stats were given on Sunday, but... Uh, I, I think in across the region about 120,000 students right. sat CSEC. Yeah. Right. So you can't move from a situation where 120,000 persons are sitting CSEC, right? And at least 50% of those are passing with grade ones or twos or threes to a situation where out of 120,000 people that half of them or three quarters of them are now failing, right? So there definitely is an anomaly. Um, somewhere, but Khalil, oh, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, he, he wanted to hold on, please. Cause we, I don't want to hear about no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. He wanted to, he didn't get to reply to the question, he replied first and then go from there. Yeah, he needed so, to reply. Go ahead, uh, um, yes. So, that, that that issue definitely a valid issue, but it is what I, I've been saying, um, that it is a micro issue, mm -hmm. so it is one that will affect students, yes. Um, but it is not so. I take on, on board the point about COVID, definitely. But it is not an issue, th those exam jitters, anxiety, whatever, is not an issue cool. that is going to affect children acro um, across 20 countries, across schools, across socioeconomic brackets. So, for example, if um, CXC has uh, blamed 
part, uh, one, one of the four factors that they have blamed is internet connectivity. <laughs> An internet divide between, say, a person in higher socioeconomic brackets and a um, person in lower socioeconomic brackets or connectivity. So um, we, we might not have this challenge in Barbados, but in other territories between country and town, mm -hmm. rural and urban. But the point is, is that that could be a valid concern, except for the fact that this crisis has affected children across Gosh. socioeconomic brackets, across town and country, rural, urban, uh, all of this. So it, it is clearly not an issue that can come down to, that is not so reductive as to come down to uh, COVID, or anxiety or, or internet find, connectivity they're, they're trying to find scapegoats well you 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 can phrase it like that if you want i think that oh. it is it's, it's regrettable i will say this it is regrettable that we have not seen yet um an admission of responsibility or rather taking on responsibility for what has happened from cxc um there has been an attempt to as i said blame those four factors yeah and it is it is not where we ought to be going i think that the mature thing to do would be to say there was a there's clearly a problem mm -hmm. and this is what we will do to fix this problem uh so hillary beckles spoke about in his press conference about the healing process yeah and the, the healing process cannot start really and truly yes we, we might get this um present problem solved but the healing process the, the, the restoration of CXC's credibility can only be restored, uh, can only happen when we have them taking responsibility and saying, look, we goofed up, or mm -hmm. whatever, how, however they want to put it, they can dress it up nicer than that. <laughs> um, but we, we, we have made a mistake, we have been making mistakes for years, actually, and we are going to, we are going to write this Wrong. shit. But, but, but my, my question to that is, I, you you all are asking for two things, not just one. You all are asking for the admitted, um, to, for them to accept rather that they have um, failed the system, um, or failed the students rather in the way they did the um, the correction of the papers. But you're also asking for your marks, your correct marks. And so, how would you feel if they were to make? Because I one of the things I have a challenge with. Is if you if I if if you if I go and pay a man for all change, and let's say he miss and pour water in my engine, I shouldn't go go back, and he tell me about paying Where for that, cause you you mess up my car. I mean I remember a gas station I went to, and the, I told the girl gas, and she put diesel. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't really care who fix it, but. I needed a car to get home and I needed my car to fix and the gas station, I must say, took full responsibility and fixed the problem. Now you're hearing CXC is saying, pay this amount of money to be able to right the wrong that they did. In my opinion, I, I probably I probably out the place, but I can still ask saying, yo, CXC trying to get more money? Because it, the impression to me is, you got how much children are going to pay for this? Well, no, one twenty thousand did it, mm. but um, we won't know how many will query. But but from my understanding, uh, um, there's a, a widespread dissatisfaction. So let's say forty thousand students across the Caribbean. By by how much it was? It was thirty US at time, right? Mm -hmm. By sixty dollars, depending on the uh, conversion rate in some countries, because it's in US. So I mean, that is a lot of money. So I'm just saying, is it this a is this a deliberate attempt? to get money because just, I just asked any the question. They're asking for money to do what? I don't know what I can spend it on, but I just so, asking. It's COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so you have so every year CXC will do this. Um they've been doing it so that you you, you always have even to all those who join in. You always have students who uh, who will have problems with their grades every year. So mm -hmm. CXC has an established process of reviewing those grades. You query them if you got for example and a lot of this happened this year. If you got for example a um you saw on the, on, on the portal or on your paper that ungraded or absent or something like that, when you know for a fact you were there for, you, you submitted your SBA, you were there to do the monthly first, you were there to do the paper too, and you see absent or whatever. So then oh, that, oh, 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 oh. What is the justification that they give for the ungraded and absent? Oh no, they, 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 they have been a lot more um, accepting of that uh, responsibility. That, um, and they, so, so that process is free because clearly, um, yeah. 
So, so that is free and they but what will... what was the process for? If for, for those queries, I'm not sure about that process. In no, in terms of, okay, you said oh. that some persons um, yes, come they were absent. Uh -huh. So what was the process in terms of, let me say, taking, um, making a note, making a uh, documenting that persons were there or that they didn't? Okay, so, so CXC, um, they will dispatch to each exam center, which is more than like schools or yeah. like Garfield Sobers, if it's a private candidate thing. Um, so they will dispatch the papers there. They have them in sealed. Uh, packages yeah uh when, when you open them you open them just before the exam starts a student will sign it um they, they will get actually two students to sign the there's a slip or, or something on the on the packet to prove that it was just opened by students in yeah. the room uh each student will get at the back of the thing it's a booklet mm -hmm. at the back you have a page that, that you can it, it, it is a serrated uh, edge you can yeah. rip it out and a candidate receipt so you write your so you write fill in your information and then the invigilator will sign it when you are leaving and you take that with you so that is your proof that you were there you have it signed by the invigilator you were there for the exam okay. so that is how they would know that so when you put in for a query then i would assume that it's a simple administrative process where for whatever reason it didn't get on the system they will just try and find your paper and i would imagine it would get found uh, mm -hmm. i don't know what will happen if if you have a receipt and there's no paper to back it up, I don't know what will happen then. But in terms of the reviews, now that is where you will pay. Previously, that involved a remark of your paper, of your script, so that they will remark everything. Um, in 2018, they changed that to what they like to call an administrative review. So they did, they did not change the fee. The fee remains the same. But rather than getting a remark of your paper, what you are now getting is that they will go back and add back up the marks. Okay. So if uh, you, so, so, so they will just make sure that they add it correctly to get the correct grade. So that, but that's a dummy approach. I, I can call it that. I don't care who vex. Because if you're telling me that I pay you to review. The same amount. The same amount. To review. Review will mean that you go on, go through and make sure everything, take everything correct, the everything. The thing but, is that but you're, you're that, saying, I, my I can do that myself for sixty dollars. The same amount. I think it's how you were wrong. For a professional to do less work. Well, yes. Basically, for, for a scaled down service. So what I'm saying is, just bring them here, and I will cut them up for you. <laughs> And you could pay me less <laughs> and <laughs> less. You know, so I could donate so, it to charity. That's fine. So, uh, so CXC will charge this amount because it, it, it is an administrative cost that they have to themselves that they would incur in terms of persons. Either even if it is simple as somebody saying so not having to to count it back up, that has a cost you got to pay somebody or you got to. That should not be a cost. But but that no, point, I, 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 understand I, 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 I understand the reason it would be a cost because at the end, you got to understand that not CXC staff is who read Martin papers. They pull, they pull teachers, teachers from school. So here's what like, it's not a cost. Then. So it's like pulling Jermaine. It's not a service. It's a cost. School, whatever school at his free time to come and remark this paper. Recount the paper. Well, recount. At the end of the day, you got to pay him for his time. So there, there is a... A lady labor cost involved, but that point you don't understand. Wait, hold on. Let me just recharge your whole here. So you mm -hmm. said we paid for three papers as your private student. However, we did only two papers. They should use the funds remark. So um so I will talk about that that that, that, that fun thing in one moment. But right, in terms of the in terms of the, the review itself, so every year it, it's an administrative cost that you pay that fee. This year, certainly students and parents have a problem with that because it is not the usual um, students have a problem with the grade. It's mm -hmm. having a little micro problem. Mm -hmm. This is a structural problem, a systemic problem that exists in their systems. Right. So it is not anyone's fault. So it is. So had they done the, um, had their systems been robust, had yeah. the, had everything been done properly, there would be no need to charge this fee. What's the cost? What's the cost for um for setting an exam? Uh, so in in Barbados, a student will pay forty Barbados dollars. Forty Barbados dollars. Um, not uh, so. That's a, student, a set per paper. No, as, um, for the whole for um, for for ev for everything. Okay. For okay. All, all, all the papers. The, all the so mm -hmm. at CSEC level. You do eight subjects, you pay forty dollars. At Cape, you do four papers. You, sorry, you do four subjects, eight papers. Um, you pay the same forty dollars. So, um, so the review is more than the 
So well, you reduce um, more the paper? No, because you see, a, a lot of people don't actually know that that, that cost is really what you call a nominal fee. Because the government, the government right. heavily subsidizes yeah. it because yeah. there is a cost attached per paper, actually, mm-hmm. yeah, or, yeah. Or, or per subject or whatever that, yeah. that, that runs, I think. I, I'm not sure about this, but I, it could be $100 or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the government heavily subsidizes the process. Uh, so that's just a nominal fee. Which is fine. Yeah. But um, but the in terms of the, the, the review itself, this year, a systemic issue. Students should not be made, students and, well, not students really, their parents, ought not to be made to pay for CSC. So I heard the Prime Minister on Sunday made mention that obviously Barbados is not known to beg. Uh-huh. And she then would have made the commitment on stage to pay for the um the reviews of these students and now uh, for barbadian students rather um but i've heard that um since she made a remark that it was dropped from the the 30 barbadians to 15 um 50 30 us to 15 dollars mm-hmm. but also i'm seeing online um, based on comments and, and, and uh, Barbados today that there were a particular one individual, you know, whenever they say one person, they like to quote unquote saying Barbadians criticizing the the fact that the government is paying. So, um, uh, why is that? If r- it, right. So, I think I, 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 I lost what you said at the beginning. They, so, they, they, Be, they, before they, people are complaining about the government, oh yes, the government, saying, yes. Yeah, the government so, will pay, but, the, but after the government made it, I saw the article saying that it moved from the 30 to the 15. So, now actually, on the, the, the Sunday morning, that is when they had the press conference and they right. announced that it would be, that, that the fee would be cut in half. Right. And then the night time, you would have seen the Prime Minister in um, Mar- 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 Mark Hill, Hill. Market Mar- Hill. Hill. Um, and she would have announced that Barbados, the Barbados Jeremy was there, so he was here. <laughs> the Barbados government will um, will pay the fee. Uh, so since then, however, you would have seen coming out of Trinidad that a, sta- a statement from their minister saying that the twenty or I think it's twenty states, um, the ministers have unanimously agreed to lobby CXC to waive the fee entirely uh-huh. for all the territories. Um, so and then you, yes, of course, I think. I I had followed that um, that uh, scenario mm. on the that that situation on Barbados Today's Facebook mm. page. I think, from from my understanding of it, from the the, the article was was kind of poorly headlined. Um, but persons should persons ought not to really be concerned. I think um, because the, the the cost will not be so great as to um, affect Barbados. Yes, as to affect your ability to go to the hospital and get work done or get your roads patched, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, government will ensure that it balances the books. But go- government, I think, must be commended, however, for, the, for, for recognizing that you have parents, many of whom live in this country, are Barbadian citizens, who some of whom might, be, might work in the hotel sector mm-hmm. or, or any other sector. That Could be one of the 40,000 homes. Uh, yes, uh, uh, any of that. That have children that they are they already uh, exist and live in deprived circumstances and what we say to children in barbados and the caribbean is that education is your passport out of that kind of life Definitely. and we say to them um so, so you have children parents rather being asked you know, to choose between uh buying a bread or paying a or, or, paying or, or, or paying a a, a $60 See, see. or th- something for something that they paid well, for already if it was prime minister of the country um right. who knows that that we would that we would pay for the students to get the review, but I would have negotiated with, uh, with CXC, whereas any marks that remain the same, based upon the first um, mm-hmm. They testing, reimburse me. I pay. No, if it remain the same, I pay. Mm. Any oh, okay. marks that are reduced or increased, it will come at CXC's cost. Because the fact that I did a review and the marks now change, it's not my fault, it's your fault. So, yeah. this year... I will only pay for the ones that remain... The but same. before you agree, before you come in, mm-hmm. one of the things that I could appreciate is um, the Prime Ministers, again, we, we see that passport to, for, for um, education. But I think one of the things that the Prime Minister, in all her wisdom as always, look at the fact that, one, fixing the situation, giving the children the correct mark, because some children have to head off to... Um, international universities and what's not and university here and their marks are needed 
So, yes, I would agree with what the man is saying, but I agree with what the Prime Minister said. I will pay for all. If I go and negotiate in the background, well, I pay for, well, if you are $100 up front and they go and get, I could get back $80 of yeah, that. Yeah, they get refunded. We will deal with that back, but the fact that the children are already deprived and can't even sign up overseas mm. is so a problem. The, the, this year, what they have also announced, um, and again, they're about to another demand of the students and parents that there will be no downgrades so that when you put in for a review, you cannot be downgraded. Okay. It will either stay the same or, go up. or it will go up. Uh, well, if your mark, you all go to me, that's what you if your mark is well you, you you see sometimes it can be viewed as as persons are being punished for for reviewing a grade if they go down but that's a separate issue but uh, if your mark goes up cxc's policy is that you are going to get a refund because clearly so if you pay for the review it the, the mark comes back as the same thing mm. then you will have to pay for that are you saying we uh -huh. sorry we how you saying so why uh why why do you so long to pay to play hardball the cost should have been footed from day one um oftentimes you you have to let the process or to see what the uh, others would say or do first so i don't think that the prime minister needed to rush to to pay no, we, uh, we, she, she she came out at the right time mm -hmm. when the uh, independent review report had come back mm -hmm. um uh, we we are still they, they told us that it'll be released to the public um today I just checked my phone again. You would have seen me, and it has not been. Um, it has not been released. Been released mm. uh, as yet. So I'm waiting to see that to examine the report in full. But based on what Sir Hillary and, and Dr. Wesley would have said on, on Sunday, this is what we're going off of. But um, so if you, if your mark goes up, then you will get a a refund. Mm -hmm. You see, the the problem sometimes with these institutions is that they look sluggish. So I have heard personally a story from a young lady who put in for a review. She did see it. She did her unit two, four years ago. She put in for the review. Her mark went up. She has completed her bachelor's degree. She has started work, and to this day, she hasn't gotten the refund yet. So, um, and besides that, you have now another um, push from the ministers, from all the government, saying CXC, you got away of this fee. Um, previously, CXC has not been open to negotiation. Kimar would have pointed out it is a time-sensitive issue. So you have a lot of moving parts. So for the children who have completed Unit 2 of Cape and have gone on to university, I have heard stories. Again, you hear a lot of these things. And I have heard stories from children who have been told um, the mark. Because so children, if you don't know, children, uh, you will apply to university at the end of lower six based on your Unit 1 grades and you will get conditional acceptance until mm. they get the unit two. Mm. So this year, of course, COVID, what have you, you got to go to the university. The results come back and the university says to you, we're sorry, you just, um, you can't stay. Okay. You have to go back home. I have heard of a girl who had a scholarship, not a Barbados scholarship, but a scholarship, a, a, bursary or whatever from the university the con this based on the conditional yes grades. yes yeah. and and but because the results have come back in later this year you have actually gone off the university yeah. based on that conditional acceptance and you started classes whatever the university has said to her she she called them what and she well she would call the admission um not admissions but the the office or whatever. administration administration um and they said okay you can stay but you lose the scholarship <laughs> um i have heard of Children at the University of the West Indies in Cave Hill, at, at Cave Hill, being told you can't do this course anymore, this um, this this um, course of study, you have to switch majors. So, but but if the university understands, well, this um, you understand, uh, Sir Hilary Beckles is also the chair of the uh, of of the uh, CSE, and they would obviously understand and see the problems that is arising. Why then would they make judgment or would they make decisions with poor rated marks and marks that have not even been reviewed? So when it comes to international universities, I can understand them because for them, they don't care. Uh, CXC, marks Caribbean, whatever, doesn't make any much of a difference to them. As it relates to your question about why is UWI doing these things, I can't tell you. Um, I am similarly perplexed and distressed about it. Um, and I think that, that is really for them to answer. So, the question here, uh, for Jordan, the cost is not the issue. Please explain the substantive differences between last year and this year. 
where the student is properly prepared. So, again, that is an issue that can take place at one school. Mm -hmm. That is an issue that can take place in one country. Like Jamaica, let us say, for example, has had a bad situation with COVID. Barbados, we went to, we were not nearly as bad, but we went into lockdown, etc. You have country, other countries which have had very favorable COVID conditions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, other islands in the Eastern Caribbean, particularly. Um, all of these things, um, barely double digits yeah. um, cases. So teachers prepared the students there was additional strain this year that there's no doubt about it there was additional strain um at the end of the year you kind of lost some of that time but it's important to, to, to reflect on the fact though that when schools closed uh, when the when covid really hit us in barbados in march for example the middle of march term two had more or less come to a close it ended a week early but nothing really happens anyhow um so it ended a week early so you only had term three left. For children who sit the external exams, there are only really three, uh, two, three weeks in term three that they go to school. And even then, because by that time, the syllabus has been covered. Yeah, more or less. Uh, everything has been done. You might have to tighten up some areas. You might just do some more practice, etc. But everything has been, ha has been concluded. You transition across the online medium. Um, but the, the issue is not COVID. COVID, as a matter of fact, so Sir Hilary Beckel said that um, that CXC's response to COVID in terms of con continuing with the examinations was, in his words, heroic. It was courageous. He's the chairman, so he's, he has to say that. Uh, it was courageous. Um, in his words, where the rest of the world um, did refuse to do so, in England, for example, they didn't go ahead, etc., across the world. Um, CXC made children come out in COVID. Uh, those are not his words those are mine um so under that background so so he's he, he suggests that cxc was the right students had to come out in covid they um they had that additional stress they went out they performed as they knew they should have mm -hmm. and this is not really and truly the result that should that, um this is not what they should receive for that sacrifice but again it is a micro issue that cannot affect so many children across so many the, the question the question i want i want to ask you here because you actually brought it up in a smart way going forward can we trust the caribbean examination councils to administer exams for the students in this region so i think that you see that is a fantastic question and that is i i i am not getting i have not gotten the sense so far that the caribbean examinations council grasp the full import of this issue for many years there have been serious concerns about cxc teachers have been complaining about it um, for a long time yes. uh, about syllabuses being syllabi being uh, too extensive yeah in scope a set, uh, exams being too extensive in scope um or in or inappropriate focus in one area or SBA is not targeting the right things the marking standards not being correct there have been all these issues that teachers have had but the general public has not necessarily been aware of it um, this year this has laid bare yes this year has particular specific issues yeah but it has exposed the public to what really has been a systemic problem with CXC over the years so one can hope that coming out of this as I said I have yet to see the IRT report According to Sir Hillary, there are some um, recommendations that are for the short the Sorry, the, the independent, independent review, review team. team. Their their report that there are some recommendations there that will be for the short to medium term in terms of um, more looking at reform, etc. And I will I, I will reserve comment on that until I can read it for myself. But CXC must be more responsive to teacher concerns because teachers teach the syllabus content. Uh, they prepare students for the exams, so they must be more responsive to teacher concerns and not blame them. Well, the, the other question I would like to put out here now, um, when you have this large swath of students across the region saying, hey, CXC got it wrong, other universities outside of the Caribbean, Absolutely. in Europe, um, the US, even as far as China, um, how then can you ask a university in one of those regions who, who already ranked us way down the totem pole, to trust anything that comes out of the Caribbean for Marx. So I think that over the years, CXC has 
a, a lot of people, um, I was on another show with Mr. Al Jemet, a retired educator, and he would have made mention of the fact that in the beginning, CXC, a lot of persons doubted whether or not people would trust CXC because it's a, a Caribbean institution. And over the years, you have found that international universities have opened themselves up and they have been, um, they have trusted the integrity of CXC. Yeah. But the thing is, is that with the advent of the internet, uh, the, the same way that I can read a story on Barbados today or on The Nation or on The Advocate or anywhere else, yeah. anybody else in the world can do so. Exactly. And admissions officers anywhere else in the world are observing this, um, this channel too. And, and you would have to be living somewhere else if you didn't know that, if you didn't think so. So they are seeing what's happening too. So as I keep saying, CXC, they must do the right thing, number one. What they did or what they have appeared to do so far they have bowed to a um, to majority of the demands of students. Don't, don't fool yourself. They have bowed to many of the demands. Be but no the CXC, the CXC, the CXC, uh, sorry, the CEO, um, the CEO of CXC, in, in the way how he's been talking. Yeah, mm, yeah. The CXC, the CEO he's both of them. Both in, mm. they do, most of them use dual titles. Um, but in his remarks and his approach, he sounds very bullish to a lot of so Things. yes, I think that has been um, that has been a concern of many people. But y'all call for he for he for he to um, I, for he to go out to I I have seen um, petitions around the place calling for his removal and whatnot. I I, I will not get into that. That's not the Didicus choose, right? Uh, no, Wayne Wesley, Dr. Oh, Wayne Wesley. Oh. Um, I think that that is a separate issue for uh, another time, really. But oh. the point is, is that so even in the, in the same press conference, he actually did not accept responsibility. <laughs> but when you look at what the when you strip away the introductory comments, the answers to questions, when you strip all of that away, what you actually find is that CXC did both to many of the demands. All right. So, but what it, my question? But they have not. But what they need now to do? Sorry to cut you. What they need now to do? is follow through on those actual recommendations number one and number two actually be be have the have the testicular fortitude to um to to, to say look we were we wrong. were wrong but, 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 but they, this may only, they only do that after the review and realize but, but no that several several um of the marks probably was wrong probably but wrong. i don't think that they would demand because normally in institutions as big as um as cxc to admit to anything is to admit to a flaw in the system. I know we could put that back to government for governments for years, maybe before or now, that there's so a lot of things they, 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 they don't admit. The politics, they're not about parties, they're talking about the admittance because many times people use, like in America, for example, if there's a scandal, there's particular people with expertise that can make it go away or swing it where they want to swing it. Doctors think, and, and uh, they call them pejoratively, uh, but. but yeah. PR, P PR, PR people, person. but in a, in a sense that I don't see CXC owning up to this to, um, for the basis that they may want to protect their own integrity. And, even, and even though you're saying that to own up to it is to, is to mend its reputation back with, with the local or with the, with the Caribbean body, but if you're, you're also stating that this is a, it's, a it rec it's recognized on the international level as well based on um, the papers or the scores being used to put you into university, why would they admit to a flaw that can affect, let's say if they're rated as a one, no, their credibility could be dropped to a tree based on the fact that you, you, over the and we see in America where if an institution, especially an education institution, has a flaw, uh, we could use, you, you know, legal, legal, we could use it in the legal system. If they find that a lawyer has been doctoring evidence or statements for years to put to win cases, you know that they have to go about right oh, now, even yeah, if it was a thousand. And every so case could be. Who, who, who is affected here? The children. But question, yeah, but, question but, but, but let me hear the answer. And then you can say that, the, that we can't no trust the XC. But you're the children that are sitting in these exams. Exactly. But they don't have a choice. You don't want to see they, but they don't have a choice. Have a choice but I, no, my, they don't. My international university it isn't a way to accept anybody that come in from or the CXC group. But Kelly, so, Kelly, so, question. So, how how did, did, how did, I don't want to get too questions. How did the debacle as it is happening now, how did it personally affect you? All right, hold on. Okay, well, I, will get for that that yeah. I will get to that what? one after I address this, this, this issue here. So... 
see, see I, I, I told you already that there are problems through the years. Okay? Uh, they, they need to fix those. I don't think that they need to come and say that um, that we have been doing things wrong for 40 years or for 50 years of the anniversary now. I, they don't need to say that. But they could be looked at. They don't need to say that. Mm. But you see, when you have an environment where there is a consensus, near consensus that something is wrong, mm -hmm. and you are shouting against the wind that, well, nothing to see here, mm -hmm. it doesn't... Um, it makes you look um, as though you are not interacting with reality. You know, there's a saying that a thousand French men could be wrong, though, right? <laughs> you might switch that. I, right. You just switch it up, Jeremy. A thousand French men can't be wrong. Not can be wrong. A thousand French men can't be wrong as well. Can't, no. But you know, it, 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 I, I use Jamaican, so. I know you're being xenophobic, so you're you're a xenophobic person. The, the, I guess any idiot can be a Jamaican. Any idiot can be a Jamaican. Any idiot can do CX. But, 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 but you see, even that oh. issue highlights that um that, that that you can be old enough, you can be mature enough, you can be big enough to come and say. But I but, but remember better. remember reputation, reputation is not overnight built. Like you know, it's the, you can you can pull it down in a night. Mm -hmm. So in a, in a minute, but I'm just saying that I looking at that will not see them owning up or accepting to to shed their um, reputation. But I also spoke earlier to the bullish or poor approach of the CEO. So if you if you have a CEO from up front speaking like that, he's still adamant. If in my opinion that the CEO or the CSC rather had cared so much about the students and wanted to really apologize or own up to anything, I would have gone with the money's approach by saying, let me waive all of the fees, give them the review, and let them see that that is in good faith. But to tell me, oh, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing it, I ain't saying so you that. See, so they, they have no to mitigate what the damage that has already been done by their very poor community but they're not going to do it they're i not. have you know i don't hold out much hope that they will no, no no i i i based on my field of expertise in, in, in the psychology and looking at people and reading people and reading their behavior you start with that bullish approach the minister of education for the caribbean met with them yesterday which means the ministers of the Caribbean. Sorry, minister of education and the ministers of the educa of education for the minister Caribbean. Of All the state ministers, right? Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh. right. So, sorry, ministers. Yeah. But uh, even our own. What I'm saying is, if they wanted to bring back some sort of hope or some sort of goodwill with the people, they would have completely waived the fee. But you are still saying to us, "Hey, <laughs> I cut in half." <laughs> Deal with that because in the end, they still got the cars on the. They still got the upper hand, you know. The upper hand is that, regardless of you, or you, or you, you chose to go set CSE. If not, they make any no, um, so no scholarship. So you, is, you understand? Know there is certainly an intransigence that 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 categorizes or characterizes, sorry, uh, CXE. That and that is something that needs to be looked at because um. The, the, this idea that you know that they are beyond reproach mm -hmm. is something that needs to be addressed. But but that would be the that would be the tone of the CEO, and then given the institution, you know the, the look because he's CXC, the only sports person in there. CXC um, does not so it, it is as, as I told already. It is not really the students and parents that, that, that pay directly for CXC through paying for the exam. I, I explained that already mm. with the nominal fee thing. CXC doesn't grow their, their funding from trees. Yeah, but uh, who, are, who got there, them up with are, enough balls? There are 20. Gonna move, gonna, gonna and take, that has take? a problem. That the Jamaica the government could do it. No, no, but, but, but they're see, not doing it. You see, what you, what you need here is that you need all of the Caribbean governments. All of the Caribbean governments. To reach a consensus on this point, you really have CARICOM and CARICOM don't work. Regrettably, the fact is that oftentimes we have not, we do not often reach a point where there is unanimous or anywhere near a consensus. We only come so together on cricket. So then that is, that really. Not really, all we. <laughs> Maybe idiot can play cricket. That is an issue. 
that so. is an issue um, that has that I think has contributed, I think, in some, to some extent to so CXC's current attitudes. But the point is, as I was saying uh, a few moments ago, the um, the CXC has to mitigate their initial failed response. Yeah. They can do that with a good faith offering mm-hmm. of waiving the fees. Mm-hmm. I don't think any... I they could don't, have. I don't really... Um, they, 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 they might yet do so because all of the ministries are now unanimously calling for them to do that. I don't know if they will or not. But... <laughs> Um, but if they wanted to Khalil again, yesterday was the where the head the, 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 the ministers met. I think that again using my psychology hat or using pressure whatever, could have been exerted on CXC it, so listen, But you even if to, it was to, to, to they still this came out. If, 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 okay. If twenty prime ministers go to the UN of the Caribbean or whatever the case is. UN of the Caribbean. Sorry, go to the some China. <laughs> but as we just too. said the, Right, if, if twenty ministers went to UN to lobby for a particular and the UN said no mm-hmm. but I stick into this or I stick into that coming home you, you bring home that message if they wanted to do it it would have been done there because at the level the meeting was the meeting wasn't with parents the meeting was with heads of governments yeah. so at the end of the day if the CXC wanted to be in your good faith by giving any waivers they would have given it coming back to say oh i can slash it in half wasn't in good faith so and i don't see them i don't see them owning up to a lot of the so, you, thing. So, so so you see that is why i am really speaking in this in, in this particular in the last few comments i have been speaking about what cxc ought to do mm-hmm. for cxc's own good mm-hmm. Whether they do it or not, whether they have done it or not, is a separate and distinct matter entirely. CSC will do what CSC wants to do. <laughs> um, but um, what what they need to do or what they ought to do mm-hmm. for their own benefit is to mitigate that damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They can do that good um, that that goodwill offer because they can say, oh well, the ministry's access to all of them, put to, uh, all of them combined. Um, so they may, they may not. That, that that point notwithstanding, that is what they can do. I don't think that certainly not me and not many people would like to see CXC or the registrar or anyone else get down on bended knee and um and and and, and weep and and say we are so sorry. Will you ever forget? It would work though. <laughs> but that is not what anyone is asking for. You just want a simple. They don't even have to say who is to blame. But, but what they can't do is blame teachers. But, you okay. cannot but say before you go are there, are you get? Before Jeremy asks, are you guys? I hear that you said that the CXC is bending to a lot of the demands of the parents, but the one demand that probably let me use it right. Let's word care about the is one demand the is the grades. Has the grades or when? If so, when will the grades be reviewed? Since so, now that people, the prime minister, will it appear. So that is so. Th- so 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 now they have. Thank you for putting me back on, on, on that track there. Mm-hmm. So now that they have agreed to this review process, so when I say that, they're about all the demand, the men, not all, they're about quite a few, mm-hmm. um, without saying so. So, the as I said, there'll be no downgrades. Um, there, but uh, importantly, most importantly, you see what I told you earlier about that administrative review? Yeah. That was a major point of contention. Because we're saying that this is not an issue where you are might add it up wrong. Mm-hmm. This is an issue where there's a fundamental flaw in the system. Whether it is um, how you mark the SBAs, whether it, uh, or anything else. The point is that there's a flaw in the system. So what they have agreed now to do is to do what they had done previously, which is a remark. Yeah. A remark of the whole thing. So this, mm-hmm. this remark now will be done by physical persons? Yes. Or by the phys- uh, phys- uh, in terms of the multiple choice there still i scanner. don't know how they will do that if they will still feed it through or what i don't know uh, i can't speak to that mm-hmm. but there will be a remark certainly of a remoderation yeah. of the sbas which there is a strong indication that the majority of problems this year stemmed from the moderation the lack thereof um or the some persons would suggest to you that CXC has a, so they have a syllabus and in the syllabus they have a rubric for the mm-hmm. SBA and the marking scheme two marks for this five for that etc mm-hmm. 
and then it will explain to you what's to be in each section and all that kind of stuff and they have this this rubric it is valid from 2018 to 2023 this particular one for all the subjects um students do that submit the sba according to that rubric yeah teachers will mark it according to that rubric there is some suggestion that in some subjects in some areas in some circumstances um there was when it went to cxc to moderate for them to check over yeah that there was a change in the rubric, the rubric oh, Lord. which is clearly it would simple common sense would dictate to you mm-hmm. would suggest at least at very least it would suggest to you that if a child doesn't that does a project using one marking thing the teacher marks it on one thing mm-hmm. you can't then go and change yes. it to mark it again that doesn't make any sense but that, that, that is not confirmed like i said the problem with cx is that they haven't been transparent well the, the, the a question i want to put to you um because you, you spoke earlier about um students who would have been conditionally accepted into universities mm-hmm. and now that the marks have come out um some have been put out mm-hmm. um some have been told you can stay but you no longer have the scholarship or bursary um after this process, say CXC decides, you know what, we're going to remark all the exams. Um, and then they come back and say, a child who got grade three, we're going to change that grade from a grade three to a grade two or grade one. What happens if after CXC does that, a university says to you, well, I am not really so sure with the credibility of CXC you now. So you see the original grade three that you had, that's a grade that we gave with. What happens after that? That, oh my God, do a rally up there. You can't rally in America. That is, um, you see, these are the kinds of real consequences for real people that this situation is going to have. And I, that is why I continue to speak about what CXC needs to do to restore their credibility. Mm-hmm. I, have, I have a vested interest in ensuring that CXC remains a credible institution. Um, from, from a purely selfish perspective of the I do CXC exams and I have, and, and the man was saying, but you were affected directly as well because you, you, you were supposed there. to tell us yeah, that. Yeah, I will get there in one second. Just remind me about that. Mm-hmm. So, um, but then just as as a point of 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 regional, of being a Caribbean person, we all have an interest in ensuring or, or, or in ensuring that, that the Caribbean has a um uh, uh an examining body for ourselves. So we yes. all have an interest in ensuring that's credible. But the point is, so 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 CXC needs to look at that. Let me really, let me read this question really by this comment. Remember that a similar situation existed with the nursing examination, where a number of nursing students did not pass the Caribbean-based examination. What is the basis for these failure, the preparation, or oh, hold on, failure, failures, the preparation, or the students themselves? The same test cannot be repeated every year. Tests must be changed yearly or greatly are rotated to be fair, as all students might. Institution, as some of us um, said, like my institution answer, must accept uh, the know. most recent grades. Institution must accept the recent grades. I, the most recent. Um, right. So, based on the question Jermaine asked you uh, regarding what affects you, mm-hmm. um, if you would like to share also your yeah. marks and obviously what you were, were expecting. expecting based upon what your teacher um, is expected of you. Yeah. So, um, with, with respect to, to the nursing exam, that's a common complaint that right, you no, heard. I, I, I wanted the money specifically to answer the one on nursing. Oh, okay. Well, I... I answer it to uh, Kelly. Um, since the XC has taken over that, there have been many complaints. That's a tangential issue, but one that needs to be looked at in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, but in terms of the personal effect on me, so I... I am a... I'm mean, now in upper six. I would have done unit one last year. Okay. So I do, I do law, I do sociology, I do economics, and then you do a core, the core subject of communication studies. So I would have opened up the portal on the 22nd and I would have seen that it was a, at that time, it was a one in socio, uh, yeah, a one in sociology. Very good. A one in law. Very I'm sorry. Good. I want so I'm all I have a lot of numbers at people's grades in my head. So forgive me. There's a one in sociology, a one in communication studies. Okay, very good. Um, economics came back at a two, and law came back at a four. That is not only you at all. Yeah. <laughs> so clearly, um, so so my, my my immediate response, I think I I, I have spoken about this in other places and in other interviews. 
my immediate response was um was that there's, there's something not quite right here you, you could mention what grades you went into the as particularly the law exam with um in terms of how uh, how you mean well you, know, pa- you didn't pass papers no, yeah uh, yeah no you know you said um you know you said that they have uh, sbs uh-huh you oh have, yes well um, right. so when you went what, what grade you went in with you mean a SBS? distinction of credit no like, so so for, for for the SBA mark so so I, I can't remember exactly as, as I tell you I got a lot of numbers um right now with this whole situation but for the SBA for um the SBA is generally twenty to thirty percent of the final mark yeah um not not so much as thirty more fifteen to twenty percent or okay. so uh so I would have gotten in that law SBA according to the teacher grade um we don't do perfect scores in law so just one less than a perfect score um. So that would have attributed to count that. So, so you went in with one less than a perfect score, mm-hmm. and after, and so the re, the reason why you ask that is this: because anytime a student goes into an exam with one less than a perfect score, all right, mm-hmm. it is highly improbable for that student to come out with a grade four because it shows that you were doing your work. Well, and you, you know, you, as a matter of fact, um, it is actually you would have to. Um, get near to zero but from a mathematical perspective yeah. you would have to get near to zero in papers one and two to be able to get a grade four with that being mark. exactly but um so the excuse me uh so the point the point in matter is that the since then the mark has changed from um a grade four in law to a grade one with all their profiles. So you got three ones now? Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, so, be, it all made a change. So how, how it changed? Yeah, it, it, it does, how, how, how has it changed? That is a question that you probably know more than I do. I um, don't. I, it, I, I, as I'm not used for... You mean like grade ones? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> Not not you specifically. Yes, I, I, I actually got grade ones in um, CXCs. And the thing well, I was suspect so you, you seem like an intelligent teacher. See me, see me, see me. I am an intelligent teacher. You got one less of a perfect score going into the exam. Uh, yeah. And then at the end, come and get a four. Mm. I, remember, I remember in my case when I did, when I did college and I did maths. Um, in college, at the time when I did, I don't know if it changed. Forty mm-hmm. percent of the coursework. Was basically, you were grading that you care for up to that forty percent, and then the yeah, exam was basically sixty yeah. percent. I just had a pass. I recall, I recall in some tests that I had the first test, I probably I got a I got hundred percent, and um, my marks were pretty good going into the exam. But the actual uh, project that we had, I can't remember what percentage that was. The actual project that we had, um, unfortunately, it was a group of five. I think five or four persons, uh-huh. and. The, at the time the project had to be done, we only had like two persons. Everybody else dropped out a college and the actual um, um, area of study mm-hmm. at that time. So it left me by myself with one other person. The other guy knew nothing really about math. So you did the project? No, actually, actually the thing about it is that the you worst one I probably get in college for math was uh-huh. actually in that project. Because he came the day, the weekend before the project was handed. Uh-huh. So we didn't have much time to even do the project. Is a mass project, said? Yes. So the project went in. I know that I probably didn't get a good mark. So I knew up front, I had to get almost 100%. In the exam. Which is the full 60% in the exam to get the A that I wanted. Fortunately. You got the A? I think I came out of the exam with the 60%. And then yes, I did about the year in mass. You're a break father. So, um, a serious subject. <laughs> <laughs> I like. <laughs> um, so I understand it's very hard to go in the exam with a high mark in junior course and then still come and flop in the exam. But it is what it is. You got, you got one. So, 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 I uh, know. So, so um, the grade two, you want to know? I know. Yeah, I'm gonna get to that. So then, what what you have? If you if the viewers don't know, you have not only do you have the grades, mm-hmm. but you have profiles. Yeah. Uh, so you might so in case you have three profiles in each subject. Um, and the profile. So, so you have grade one, two, three, four, down to seven. Mm-hmm. You have profiles A, B, C, D, down to well. There is some debate about whether or not a G profile exists. Um, but it goes down to G. This is past my time because I, I, I never, um, I did um, 
associate degree. So okay. I never did see that. Okay. So forgive so, me if I if I so I'm not sure what these. It programs. goes down to G. On Friday, on not on Friday, on Saturday, Sunday rather, the registrar would have um, indicated that they grade based on profiles. Yeah. That you, you get grade on a profile. So if you get an A A A, you will mm-hmm. get a one. Yeah. You get an A A B, you get a one. Sound like a downgrade. Um, <laughs> no, that's not CFC. No, no, no. Like, uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's not like a downgrade. Yeah, I, I understand because what you mean. You see, we go A's or whatever. Yeah. And if you get mm-hmm. you get B A's, it has a one. Uh-huh. You yeah. could get, you could come and get let me say an A B and I don't know as far as a good, but I think in my time it was down to an E. Remember my time uh, was very you past your time. You can get one. You old man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm only 35 years old. Anyway, so, so, oh. yeah, go ahead. So then, and if you get a GGG or FGG or something like yeah, that, you can give me a seven. Yeah. So they, so they grade on. So pro- CSE go as far as a grade seven. Uh, yes. Um. Well. So for for CSEC, it has a, it one to three is a pass, and then it goes down to five, four, five is a fail. K one to five is a pass. So six and seven is a fail. F one to three is a pass. Four five is a fail. What six and seven is? Uh, so then for K. Yeah. So 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 for C set it K goes to five. K, K for K if it goes C-set to three. seven. Whoa, that's sick. I ain't you know. Yeah. So so they uh, okay. they probably uh, so like we ain't heard of Kim Martin. <laughs> yeah, because I mean I never went college. I never went BCC. Never went polytechnic. I just left school. I do I the, the school didn't want me to come back so I could do that. <laughs> so you know what is that? Wait, I paid the forty dollars. <laughs> like I didn't pay the forty dollars, but the principal didn't want me in the school so I, I was really limited in education as the principal probably proud of you know though. Yeah, I know she probably me she bought me for ten years, so I had a year that she retired. So you can see the education system I mean so, ain't it all friendly. <laughs> So, so, so that you have a situation where they grade on profiles. So, mm-hmm. when I would have gotten to grade four, um, I I measure that and I screenshot it. So I think it's, I still have a screenshot of okay. it. Um, I would have gotten a, a C E D. Mm-hmm. How about the profile is now? Um, A A A, triple A. So, so you, uh, I have a question uh, about uh, you. Uh, you said how you say like how you said that your grade changed from a grade four to a grade one. Mm-hmm. Are are there any more examples like this? I have heard, so you see, I have heard of persons on the, the portal itself, mm-hmm. on, the, um, on, on the computer system when they log on, yeah. they have seen different grades across time. So, so okay, that so is different. Different. So, 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 so you say you had a grade four, maybe you grade, grade one. Uh-huh. Um, so did they review? So, yes, so, so that's a common Wait. question I'm getting. Uh, no, I, I didn't. And uh, why did you get a review on nobody else? So, <laughs> I didn't put in for a review. I, yeah, I'm a yeah, I, I'm a I, I, I did not formally request a review. I didn't pay sixty dollars for it. I didn't. Um, to be clear, okay, I know that some people um have active imaginations. I didn't call um anybody and uh, whisper to them that I want the grade change. Nothing. So, but the grades were changed. Yes. So, so so because is, because again, I let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask a fair question. No, no, because I know I know that when you are forefront. And you're advocating. Mm-hmm. People like to deal with the, the person's advocating first. To hope that they can shut up. Shut you down. And mm-hmm. shut you down. Well, clearly, um, it didn't work. It didn't work. Favor. Because I, I mean, it, it gave him more. more yeah, it gave him. To because, but here's what I, I believe because he's not because obviously you, you would understand too as an advocate myself that the approach is the, the approach is not one that is selfish. It is exactly. one for bigger collective. So exactly. if you affect something in the homeless system, it doesn't mean that because you fix it here, I'm going to shut my mouth. I, I have other re- other things and other people so, to look at. So um, I am. So yes, I am still dissatisfied with the two in economics, and mm-hmm. uh, that is still um, n- not not acceptable. But you have a put in. You are you put in for now? And I and and, and so at the end, uh, we were waiting for the report to come out for them to highlight how they will do the reviews mm-hmm. um so when they announced because they have announced that they'll also be changing the method the process for getting them and they, they have to iron out some but, details but, no, no, but, but, so at the end of the week or so when they announce those details or whenever they announce the, the details i will be putting in but, for review but let me step back a little bit let me think it's no, no, move to, no. um, to to go back to the system of a levels no wait hold on before you go there bef- before you that. go there i think that uh what i hear here is is a bit of bit problematic for me is that these people know what to do clearly they have acknowledged you wrong through you of course because Change you come in not from a not from a two to a one you come in from a four to a one to a one 
clearly these people want AA because and let me have an anonymous class because they already acknowledge you wrong they already started correctly wrong but it feels to me that they're selective in, who in, in to who because you're now saying to me come let's say by the end of the week you're going to tell me the formula in which you're going to use to correct people but they already correct you no, so, no, so, no what, what happened, i don't what know happened, what happened what happened case, what happened me. in your case that you didn't know was that the person that did your your mark your paper um they had the figures backward <laughs> so whereas oh yeah a, you got six for a night it was a four what I am interested to know because since you've said that your grades have changed from a four to a one mm -hmm. and from a two to a one, right? No, 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 no. The the two, other two, two, two remains, right? Two remains, right? What I'm interested. But you get home after this show, you're gonna be a one. Oh, what I'm interested to know, right? Um, okay. what is what currently, and I, I, I use these words very carefully. What currently is CXC's official position on the remarking of? Um, the papers that were something. Yeah, you wasn't saying no, no, no. I, so, so, so in terms, so as I said, that they will have the full remark. Um, but yours was remarked. No, you see, I can't say that. I'm not going to Im, uh, impute improper motive to anybody. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was a technological glitch. I don't know what happened there. If they remarked the paper, I don't know. Pardon? Uh, uh, no, because I, I had heard. That so, so, so you see how I told you that the SBA grade went in with the one less than the personal yeah. score. So, I had heard that, um, on the system, the SBA grade had in the SBA slot there was a number sign, which means that it failed. As anyone, sorry, so, let me read this here uh -huh. and see if you can answer it in it. As anyone pinpointed the area of the CXC that was most problematic, multiple but choice, was, but there was a written paper. Well, um, I will get to that in one second. Mm -hmm. So so then you got a lot of things to get to <laughs> <laughs> so the sba it appeared as though that what caused the four i don't know no 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 <laughs> I, I i i have my memory here so what caused the four it appears was that the sba mark was either um somehow it was wrong in the system Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Um, so I suspect. They don't give an explanation. Just put it out. So, so it, it might have just been an innocent computer glitch. But, but you see, no, you, so, see, you see, when you say innocent computer glitch, or a wrong entry. Wait, wait, a wrong entry or wait, something. wait. When you say innocent computer glitch, right? Um, this um, raises more problems than solutions. It does. It because does. I, I mean, I, the, the reality is, no. When you say you move from a grade four to a grade one. Right? In my mind and in my estimation, you should also move in grade two to grade one. Be not necessarily. No, no, no. no. Not you can't move from grade four to a one and not a two to a one. Yes. So, so, right? so that is why I'll be putting in for the right? review of that. And, but and, you're not and sure the glitch was only in one paper. But no. But the so, so, but, but, case, I want to review. But, but no. But the money, the money. I want to review for money. Yeah, do. You see, but the dangerous thing. The one. The dangerous thing about the dangerous thing about a computer system is that you must have trust in that system mm -hmm. right and what trust i trust in the system no you, you must have trust in that system is that you 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 it's have not necessarily trust no. because any any hold on, hold on any software in any software that you look to develop mm -hmm. anything that we have online no apps could fail this could fail bugs could be and that's where you keep Kimar, having. so you have to be Kimar, reviewing Kimar, that system Kimar, upgrading Kimar, that system. Kimar, system well so you well, 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 or that so, you know, or you know you have yeah. one dollar. I have. Last week, I won't complain about that part. Yeah, <laughs> last week Monday. <laughs> last week Monday, I would have dispatched a letter off to Hillary Beckles and copied the relevant person. This is the one that the prime minister was spoken about on. Yeah, because she said you copied the letter. Uh, yes. Um. One of um the, the prime minister was one um an individual to whom I copied the letter, and in that I would have reflected upon the same thing that um that my four became a one mm -hmm. um and that, that, that clearly highlights that the problem has there been a but you know a lot of babies missed that part <laughs> um i i won't get into the the, the details of that are uh, there I, in terms of so the so for example um no there was not a a, a response 
from from the, the from CXC. As yeah. Um, to, to my letter specifically to okay. acknowledge receipt. Uh, yeah. So so there was nothing from from CXC the body itself. No. But the point is that uh, you have my four going to one. Uh, other persons. So that was the 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 four was a four on the online portal. The then so you, so you have the online portal and you have great slips which go out on paper. Yeah that the ministry sends to schools. So on the slip then is where the one would have appeared. Yeah. And now I think um, it, might, it might be two, three, four days. I have checked back on the portal yeah. and you see the, um, on the portal itself now you have the four becoming the one on the portal. So to be fair, they are, the, 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 the CXC is but I right don't, and wrong. But, aren't, but they can't, well, I mean, because you've seen that you you seen that the group is tackling two issues here. You're tackling which I believe the most important right now would be tackling the the, 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 the the reviews. The present is but yes. as I, it seems like the group also is requiring um, an immediate um, no, onus no, on yeah. action. Um, uh, no, what? Um, well, I can't speak for the group of concerned parents, um, but certainly what is what is being called for. My movement from a four to a one, I don't know that that has evidence of a review process. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is just simply the computer catch back itself. Um, a computer catch back itself. Yes. <laughs> I, I the memory run, I'll let you process it. Um, and, and, and it recognized that there was a glitch that, that, that occurred. Maybe, maybe, maybe CXO was hot. Oh you my see, God! These are all things that that, that we can discuss, well, but I can't provide the answers. Yeah, to that. I mean, speculations could be different. I can't. I can't tell. I think. I think that CXC needs honestly. Could be the Russians. That <laughs> yeah, probably Donald Chinese. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I think that our our Yes, we think. I think that these are oftentimes left to debate. Mm -hmm. And I don't necessarily like to speculate. Exactly. Because we can do you be know how Do you know how CXC can, uh, can reduce on this speculation if they were transparent from the beginning and if they explained to people what was happening? I think that they need to host a little town hall meeting, if, even if they take the, virtual, the uh, virtual one or they take questions on it. But I think that if you're talking about rebuilding credibility and rebuilding, it needs to come out, whether it be Sir Hillary and the group. Um, in, a, in, 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 in collaboration with the CEO. Man, man, hold, and a very come, query here. You and know, come uh, and address this. Man, hold on, let me see. Where is it? Where are he um, said the results will remain in dispute and may end up before the Caribbean Court of Justice. Well, before we answer, before you uh, answer, I, I, you don't know. I can't comment yeah. on, uh, on you the can't know. It may, right. But I was just saying that if the, come, if the CXC came to forefront right now, rather they, they say, okay, give come to the public and say in five days we will come to the public to explain issues mm -hmm. problems and this is solutions i think that that will leave a better taste in people's so, mouth than than trying to be again using that bullish approach so, so, so hillary has I, I keep saying so hillary spoke about the healing process and i think that in speaking to that he was highlighting something very important that there has been a breakdown of trust Mm -hmm. um, and that, that healing process needs to start, and that can start through transparency. Mm -hmm. It can start through all of that. But I heard, I heard. What is talk. not desirable right now is the insistence upon blaming teachers. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. um, what is not, um, what is not positive, is this idea that um, that it is a my CXC said it's a small minority of students. But it can't be a small minority um, of students when we have. Um, n numerous thousands of students across the country. See, actually, it is only 1% of students who have problems, that teachers are corrupt, teachers are to blame. All of these. So these were blatantly said? Um, so, yes, they, they blatantly said that 1% of students have a problem, and they have um, strongly implied, um, I think at one point the registrar said, leniency, which is a nice way to dress up corruption. What? what uh, um, uh, uh, well, is a nice synonym or a euphemism rather for corruption so they have implied but, teacher corruption they've implied teacher misconduct you know um, you, know, you, 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 you know you know what, what what is happening here cxc is using this um what is called it a scorch earth policy mm -hmm. right and this whilst we're looking at this year and the results in this year this will have far-reaching effects in the future and because student do you have any younger siblings uh, no, I don't. Okay, well, students who will come three, four, five years from now, they're going to face the challenge that 
universities across the world will simply say, we do not trust your results. And, you know, I think you are right. So they get their COVID results. No, you know, you, you call it COVID results, but the correct, the, the, what is most important right now for me is that CXC needs to restore its credibility. But and if you can CXC can do that. And if but you can't yeah, trust, that, that's my quite, that's you my can't trust argument. those results, then, you know, but my, arg arg my argument problem. all the time is, well, we are trying here to rebuild somebody's credibility that don't think this is like telling donald trump that he has failed the americans he has and he and he hold on just by language and he said to you straight i'm a trump supporter you understand american is great again good made is. america great. so here's the thing what i'm just saying is that if you don't see something wrong with yourself it's like aa the only way you can go to AA is accepting the fact that you're an alcoholic. I agree. And if you don't need AA, if you don't, if you go to AA and holler, and you would have flashed around my AA and holler, I'm an alcoholic. Something <laughs> wrong. So CXC does not see a flaw. I'm not trying to rebuild their integrity. I think that when they feel the pinch, mm -hmm. or when they feel the burn, or when the governments of the, 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 the um, various uh, states put some pressure, then they may need to say, oh, look, my back against the wall and all the big talk becomes talk. All the blend they can tell themselves, they're going to realize that they is a booty cat. And they can come, come uh, you, Would you recommend other students um, across the region, Five minutes, not this guys. year, other students across the region in years to come to do either the CXC or the CSEC exams? I want, I want this question. No, 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 I, I want to hear from you. Sure given that you are living through this audio. So I, I think that it is important for CXC to start the seeding process, it is important for us to move past this and restore the credibility in the results. Mm. There are many, I think, who are calling for us to go to the uh, so the Cambridge exam, um, o, uh, well, not the O level, certainly, but the, the A levels, levels yeah. um, which we used to do before Kate came into play about uh, 20 years ago, the turn yeah. of the century. Um, so, when, when I was in school. <laughs> uh, so, I would not advocate going that route. I think that they have pro they, they they have had problems too. They have off qual in the UK having a lot more um, uh, a lot quicker in responding to those problems. But I think we 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 have a formula here. We have a indigenous institution. We can make it work. But the onus is on CXC and the ball is in their court to make it work. Who regulates CXC? Uh, in terms of, you mean the, the, the accreditation body? Or? Yeah, accre yeah, through the accreditation council here in, in Paris. I know, I, I, I have um, been trying to get that information right. for four weeks now, okay. and I haven't gotten it yet. So you need, probably need to go into the Barbies accreditation council? So I don't know that, that they will be accredited with, with our BSc here. As I said, I can't speak. I'm not sure are, who, are, who are there, accredits Are there them. any students on this independent review panel that... Um, no, no, no. Like CSC no. Assembly? No. That's a catastrophe for you. They're making it. No, no, no. Listen. No. Um, the, the independent review team, I was chaired by Professor Emirata. He is a Simmons MacDonald, who is a um, who is a noted uh, literary... Um, well, she's, she's, she's very big uh, um, uh, academic when it comes to literature. Yeah. Right, and um, you also have the Pro Vice Chancellor of the Open Campus. Other members of the team are... Professor Andrew Downs, retired mm -hmm. Pro Vice Chancellor, mm -hmm. Planning and Development, the University of the West Indies, Professor Francis de Lan Lanoy, the president of the president president University of Curso. Then you have, I don't want to call. Okay, retired Chief Education Officer of the Ministry of Education, that's of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Michael Brown, Minister of Education in Antigua and Barbuda, and Chair of the CARICOM Council for Human and Social Development. So, so CARICOM has a number of organs, a number of councils, a finance, a finance council, etc. You know, you know, you know the first problem with our council? Are you got you on it? No, no, no. Oh. I don't mean. I there are too it. many... Wait, no, I, I'll be honest. Educators? This, this issue uh, with CXC this year affects children across a wide cross-section. All right? But you only find it fit to put on one minister of education and all the rest is professors. Uh, well, not Do they, are, are they really in tune with so, the concerns of the students? So I, you, you say, um, I, I um, did two, um, uh, uh, I think two weeks ago, whatever, two, two programs on, on Sunday morning and night, night time with Mary Redmond. And she would have indicated at the time that the teachers were not, were not confident that the, the, that the panel itself I, I'm not confident in our panel. That, no, no, no. I think that there are that, that the panel is composed of professionals 
of unimpeachable. I would like to say BUT president or something. You see, so, 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 so I, I know that the teachers union have um, the, the the unions have have said that we that it should have incorporated some kind of, of active teaching um, force. I don't think that we can now discuss. Sorry, I think there's a, Carib- there's a Caribbean well, I, I union willing of to teachers, dis- right? Discuss the members and say that back <coughs> panel I, I is in no way a representation I, of what needs to be. But 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 I, I have also taken um, the, 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 I I will reserve full comment on 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 the panel and its report until I can read it myself um, because they haven't. I as I, I checked my phone just now. And You're trying to be nice. And and there have not been. Yeah, you need to be. They won't get the third or fourth. <laughs> and there has not been. I haven't seen it come up here yet. Sent to me um, the report. Yes, it's not been don't, released. Don't, don't, don't my Jeremy. Don't my Jeremy. So, so but, 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 in, Jamaica. <laughs> in in I see the, the time. So I'm bringing down the landing gear now. Mm-hmm. Um, what what students and parents and teachers need and want want rather and need in CXC to resolve this crisis. They promise that when you submit a review, it will come back in one week. That's good. With this amount of re- this, this is for this particular one or in in general, mm-hmm. you, uh, you said come back in one week is particularly to this yes, problem. Yes, this year. Oh, okay, because I don't want I, I don't want to say that oh they, they, that's a, a general statement no. and then they got this backlog and they come back in four. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, so 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 that when you down. when you request a review, mm-hmm. um, it will come back to you in one week and they will hire additional capacity. These are all things that they have said. Mm-hmm. I hope that it will come back because. We, um, it, it, it is tonight, the 20th of, sept- of October. Oh, yeah. The results came back on the afternoon of the 22nd of September. A lot of time so has passed. A, month. a lot of pain has been caused. A lot of um, financial inconvenience. You have I heard somebody talking about somebody even being suicidal in, oh this, in this case as well. I, 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 I heard I have, sorry, you heard it in the I news. Have, um, no, um, I can't speak to that directly. I, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. You have so that you have children now who have gone on to university being affected. You have children who are say are in my year. For example, you have uh, Cambridge and Oxford. Uh, their deadline for applications is October the fifteenth, as well as many um, UK medical schools. October the fifteenth has come and gone. Um, so those children can now not like here, but we problem, boy. Can, can now not apply to the to their schools of choice. Right. We have real problems. What we need very quickly, we need them to return the reviews. The review process needs to be robust. It needs to return fair and equitable grades. Um, in the longer term, we need reform, but that can be looked at afterwards. Right now, you need we need review. the urgent process, and so CXC must chasten itself. Um, they, they, their not their words, but their actions have so far been well since Sunday have been positive, or, or what they, what what they plan, their plan of action has been positive so far. Mm-hmm. I will wait to see the report to see exactly what is there, but we want the reviews and we want them to produce equitable and fair results. That is only suppose no, suppose right. no question. What is next for you academically? For me personally, mm-hmm. um, so I, as I said, I'm in upper six at Queen's College. So after this now is university, and I will be looking to pursue law. Which university? Uh, well, I will obviously apply to quite a few, but um, and more than likely, I might um, go to or apply rather to KFL. Okay, very good. Yeah. My, my final, final question, question to you, um, mm-hmm. after this review process is over, because they said they're going to do it in a week, mm-hmm. suppose CSC comes back and tells all the students in the region look we did a review and when we did our review we found that we sent all the correct grades initially so what next and C- here for C- cxc would they have to know what they're doing um what my, 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 my my advice to them sincerely um would be that you you chase in yourself and you do what is the right thing to do. And be transparent. Um, if coming out of this, mm-hmm. the, after the review process, fair and equitable grades are still not produced, yeah. then further action will have to flow from that. So you'll probably go to court. Well, I can't let it be what it is. Let it be what it is. Well, guys, we want to thank you. each and thank every you so one much of for you. Me. Khalil, yeah. we want to thank you. Uh, we do hope that this matter can be resolved, and uh, we do hope that CAC can heed into heeding itself to the. The, the, the cries of the people because it's not just um, I, I, I really don't care what people talk about this minority or this 1% of this 
it wants to affect somebody, affect somebody. And if it's one a week that you affect, it should be fixed. If it's ten a week, fixed. And, and, they, and they expect that to be the um to 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 be the focus of CAC. I would like them to be as transparent as possible as well to come and tell people what's going on. Take our stupid advice, hold a town hall, virtual town hall meeting, hold a press conference, something that speaks to the people and and so you can heed that they, they could heed or, or, or be in a better place. So we want to thank you. Next week, we'll be tuning in again at the same time. If you have not liked the page, please like the page. If you have not followed us, follow us now. We'll be on next week. We'll be interested in, this, we are in elections. So we'll be talking about uh, reviewing this election process and looking at it, um, where it is, and what, what meeting Jeremy went to, and oh, what meeting the money what, went to. What, what, so we want to thank everybody. Right? I want meeting everybody right there. Next week. Yes. Um, <laughs> So we want you to tune in to next week. Yeah, we just we just do the election review. We'll talk about right. candidates and everything like that. And um, so you know, we'll be here again next week, Tuesday, same time. Please like us, follow us. Thank you all for st- uh, tuning in. Thank you all for better, keeping us going. Oh shoot! Sorry, guys. Huh? Better redoing special on the American elections. We, we can try that into next week too. You know, you know, we want John's beat right now. So guys, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Khalil. Good night.